it's Coach Laura. I am here to talk to you about single leg glute bridges and isometric single leg hip thrust holds. Both of them are great uh, exercises for developing hamstrings, hips, and even a little bit of core. So we're going to start with the single leg hip bridge. We'll start with the knee in, which is a good place to start because it helps prevent hyperextension of the low back, which we do not want. Um, it's kind of easy to come into a hip bridge and instead of keeping the midline tight and the pelvis tucked with the glute squeeze, to just pop up and have too much right here. You can kind of see I'm emphasizing basically a back arch, right, instead of getting my posterior chain working. So by taking the knee in for your single leg hip bridge hold, it just prevents the pelvis from coming into that anterior tilt position and keeps your low back a little bit more protected. So this would be our first variation of the single leg hip thrust. We want to make sure um, that this shin is vertical. So right now, I should be able to feel it, but I can't quite tell. My shin should be vertical with my knee stacked on top of my ankle, right? From here, we can take it into a little bit harder. This leg is going to stay long and it's going to rise with the hips. So, arms to the ground, squeeze the hips for a tight back, and then I'm going to raise my legs until they're parallel, hold for a second. You can even add a little bit of abduction if you want to get fancy, and add that time under tension, and then come back down. All right, so here, you can go out to the side and back in. If you're doing this correctly, kind of like a dead bag or a hollow hold, it might seem innocent, but you should be able to feel it, right? And getting the timing of the leg raise correct forces you to slow down the movement. I can already feel it in my hips. Okay, from here I'm going to take it to the bench. So adding the elevation, you just use a chair or a couch at home. I guarantee you have something that you can elevate your shoulder blades to for this. Um, adding the range of motion adds more challenge. So when you set up, always make sure that you have it set up on the base of your shoulder blades. If you set up too far away, um, it's just not going to be the best position for a good hip hinge and you'll start falling off of whatever you're supporting yourself on. So get a little bit more of your upper back in there. And then from here, all I'm going to do is extend the leg, all right? So I'm coming into this isometric hold position. Hamstring should feel it, hip should feel it. If your low back feels it, just make sure that you're keeping your rib cage down, chin tucked, and all these things in line, all right? If you want to make it harder, grab anything heavy, um, your dumbbell, your barbell, your kettlebell, a medicine ball, and just place it on your hips and add that extra tension. You might not be able to tell I'm shaking a little bit right now. The last thing to watch out for is keep the hips even, right? So this leg might want to sink. I'm exaggerating it. You'll have to keep an eye because it'll be more subtle than that, but just keep them even, all right? So you can start with about 30 seconds on either side. Um, see where that gets you, work up to a minute, and you'll get some really great posterior chain strengthening at home without a GHD.